Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Welding. Today I'm going to talk to you about welding electrodes and the AWS classification system. Stay tuned. This here is the welding electrode classification system created by the, the AWS or American Welding Society. The E stands for electrode. Your first two digits on a four digit or the first three digits in a five digit classification are your tensile strength. The next to last number is the positions the weld can be the welding electrode can be used in. One denotes it can be used in all positions. Two denotes it can only be used in flat and horizontal. And then your last digit is your flux coating compositions. There are several factors to choosing an electrode for a project. One factor is the base metal and its properties. Another factor is the thickness of base metal. Another one is your joint design and the fit up of the joint as in the position of the joint you're welding and how much of a gap or lack thereof that there is. The position of the weld joint as in flat, horizontal, or vertical will also affect the size of the electrode as well as the thickness of base metal. Your welding current and polarity that you're using will also affect it. Uh, the production speeds that you're trying to achieve. The size of electrode and the thickness of base metal affect the production rate as small electrodes will be used on thinner base metal because and deposit less metal and larger electrodes will be used on thicker base metal and they have higher amperage ratings and deposit a lot more metal. Another factor is corrosion resistance. Is the project going to be used in a high temp or a corrosive environment whereas you might want to go out for stainless electrodes in that instance. Other electrodes have some special storage requirements that might not be able to be achieved at the location you're welding such as a 7018 or low hydrogen electrodes they have to be kept in the oven to prevent moisture from getting at them. There are also other electrodes that are specialty for welding items such as cast iron and other specialty alloys such as that. So now that you've learned how to read a AWS electrode classification, in the next video I'm going to teach you how to strike an arc. Stay tuned. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like it. And remember, click that little bell icon so you get notifications when I post them.